Hi, I'm Dr. Swarchla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. What is heparin and when is it given in treatment for infertility? Heparin is a blood thinning medication and it is often used in infertility treatment for specific conditions that involve blood clotting issues or immune related infertility. Let's look at the scenarios where heparin is prescribed. Antiphospholipid syndrome. Heparin is commonly used in women with anti phospholipid syndrome, which is an autoimmune disorder that causes the immune system to mistakenly attack certain proteins in the blood leading to an increased risk of blood clots. APS antiphospholipid syndrome can cause recurrent miscarriages or implantation failure by disrupting blood flow to the placenta. Heparin helps prevent clot formation, improving placental blood flow and supporting successful implantation. Heparin is often given during the luteal phase after ovulation or immediately after embryo transfer in IVF cycles and it is continued through the first trimester to reduce miscarriage risk. Recurrent pregnancy loss is also a good indication for heparin. For women who experience recurrent pregnancy loss due to undiagnosed clotting disorders or elevated thrombophilia markers like factor lead in, heparin is used as a preventive treatment. Heparin helps in preventing small blood clots in the placenta that could interfere with embryo implantation or early fetal development. Treatment typically begins right after a positive pregnancy test or following embryo transfer in IVF and it usually continues into the first or second trimester. Thrombophilia or other blood clotting disorders is also when it's given. In women with inherited or acquired thrombophilias such as factor V Leiden mutation, prothrombin gene mutation or protein CS deficiencies, the risk of blood clot increases during pregnancy. Heparin is given to reduce the risk of clots in the uterine blood vessels which could impair the blood supply to the embryo or fetus. Similar to APS, heparin is often initiated during IVF treatment or early in pregnancy and continued through part of or all the pregnancy depending on the severity of the condition. Immune related infertility. In some cases of immunological infertility where immune system issues lead to pregnancy loss or implantation failure, heparin is combined with other treatments like aspirin, steroids or in intralipids. Heparin helps to prevent microclots and improving blood flow to the uterus, enhancing the chances of successful implantation. Treatment may start before or after embryo transfer in IVF cycles and continue during first trimester of pregnancy. Pre-implantation genetic testing in IVF. Heparin is sometimes prescribed in IVF cycles, especially for patients undergoing PGT as an adjunct to improve uterine environment for implantation. It can help reduce the risk of implantation failure by improving uterine blood flow and minimizing clotting risks. Heparin may be started just before or immediately after embryo transfer and continued for several weeks. It can also be used in IVF and unexplained implantation failure. In cases of repeated implantation failure during IVF without a clear cause, some clinicians may use heparin empirically to improve blood flow to the uterus and embryo. The rationale is that even without a known clotting disorder, improving uterine blood circulation could enhance the chances of embryo implantation. This treatment may begin before embryo transfer and continue until a pregnancy is confirmed and beyond depending upon of course the clinical judgment. Heparin use in combination low dose aspirin is also very important to discuss. In many cases, heparin is prescribed alongside low dose aspirin. Aspirin helps thin the blood and reduces inflammation, while heparin helps in providing a stronger anticoagulant effect. This combination is commonly used in cases of clotting disorders or immune related infertility to improve pregnancy outcomes. So heparin is a critical tool in managing infertility when clotting disorders, autoimmune issues or recurrent pregnancy loss are contributing factors. Its use improves blood flow to the uterus and placenta reducing miscarriages and improving implantation success in IVF cycles. If you wish to know more about this, please feel free to contact us. Thank you. A lot of effort has gone into making this video. Please like and subscribe us. Thank you.